Okay, let's just go through the seven S's. Basically, um, let me just take this out and let's just, so that, because I know people sometimes are always writing when we are speaking, so it's better to take that thing off. So the seven S's. First S is strategy. So we need to ask ourselves, do we have a strategy or a plan? Do we have a strategic plan for this rollout of the, of the global internet evangelism? And who has benefited, who has been involved in that plan? Who has participated? What is the stakeholder representation in the people who have actually come up with that, with that plan? Number two, structure. Our structure as it is, the way we are structured now as a church, does that facilitate how, how much ease comes along with that kind of structure if we were to try and implement this global internet evangelism? Is the structure okay or, or is there a problem with the structure? Next thing, systems. That's when now we're coming with the toys and the tools. Do we have those systems? I heard someone alluding to um, the, 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 the plans for our fiber connectivity here in Africa. Do, do we have that? And, and how is it going to hang together with everything, that, everything else we're doing? Next thing, skills. Do we have the skills? And let's not lie about it. The truth is, in this issue of skills, we do have to acknowledge that there are certain skills that we don't, not everyone has all the skills. We just need to acknowledge it. You know, in fact, let's just go, sorry, I cannot resist talking about this. The, this issue is so important. I'll give you one commonly held truth that we need to. Okay, just have a look at that. I'm just going to explain it. Okay, the dotted part, the dotted part is, you'll get, you'll get all this stuff, so don't worry about it. The do, everyone can see this, huh? Okay, the dotted part is administrative, admin, or managerial. Managerial skills, okay? The lines is getting along with people, sort of HR. And the blank is technical skills. Are we together? Now, this is lower, middle, and top management. This is what usually happens. At the bottom, when you're just starting out, the requirement for your skills the overwhelming requirement for your skills is your technocratic skills. Whether you're a doctor, or an engineer, or an accountant. What is more important is your technical skills. The higher up you go, you need an equal mix of technical and managerial skills. At the highest level, you need a lot of managerial, and you don't really need much technical. That's why a top CEO can be in charge of so many different functions. Or a, 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 an executive director can be in charge of someone who's doing stewardship, health, education, ministerial, family life, and this and that and that. You know, at that level, the, the, it's more the coordinative and the managerial skill that is required. Are we clear on that? No disagreement. But what do we do? Often, when someone is doing very well here, we promote them into there, isn't it? Why do we promote them into there? Because they were good technically, isn't it? But how much technical is required there? More or less than where they're coming from? Less. But we're promoting them in there, isn't it? So a management thinker called um, uh, Lawrence Peter came up with the following saying. In a hierarchy, especially a bureaucratic one, every employee is promoted until they reach their highest level of incompetence. But he wasn't talking about our church, no. He was just talking about things. <laughs> but I want to tell you this very seriously. I want to tell you this very, very seriously. When you do this, because you have promoted someone who is a good technocrat into there, when you do this, if you don't accompany this training with, the, with, with this promotion, with the right training, you will lose twice as an organization. Why? You lose twice. Because you will lose a good technocrat and you will gain a lousy manager. That's what will happen. I'm still talking about global internet evangelism. <laughs> I've not deviated. You will lose a good technocrat and you'll get a lousy manager. But the culture that we have is a culture that says that we must all become, you know, if your title doesn't say manager or director, you don't feel good. And because of that, we keep promoting people up there. 
So one of the theories, I told you that this is one of my pet subjects, one of the things I'm researching currently is to ensure that instead of only recognizing promotion going upwards, we should allow for career progression going laterally or horizontally. Because we have got many a good pastor sitting in a managerial office and being a bad manager. No, sorry, not in this church. <laughs> we have that. We have many good technocrats being bad managers. Why? Because we have refused to recognize that they can continue to do what they do best. And we should find a way of into This is a totally separate subject. I'm, I've now deviated slightly. But it's a whole issue of career planning and ensuring that we get the best for people. Otherwise, everyone is looking at rising up this way. And yet maybe what I enjoy is just preaching the gospel, preaching the gospel, making an altar call, and seeing the crowds pouring from the stadium and coming to the baptistry. But somehow, because I need slightly more status and money, I have to find a way to find an office to push paper. <laughs> anyway, that was on skills. We're talking about the seven S's. Right. Skills. So do we have the right skills? So skills is about uh, competence. And then Stuff is about numbers. Do we have a situation where we have w one person doing 10 people's jobs? You know, some, there were some very overworked people in our church. Huh? One person doing 10 people's jobs. So this one is about numbers, this one is about skills. Okay? But we also have the flip side. We have 10 people doing one person's job in the same church. So we need systems to be able to do that. And global internet evangelism, you know, for me, technology has always been an excellent enabler. We can actually use that to redeploy a lot of, of people. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The next one is um, shared values. And shared values basically says, are we all reading from the same script, all the way from GC to the Sabbath school that is somewhere in Makweni? Or there is them versus us. Do we, are we actually sharing the same vision? Wherever we're going. And the last, but by no means the list, is style, which is otherwise known as culture, which then says the way we do things around here. What is the culture of this church? And often the culture is the unwritten one, isn't it? For the systems, we have the toys and the tools and we have the procedures and the policies. We have the church manual. We have the 28 beliefs. We have the, the minister's handbook. We have all those. That's fine. Okay, we've got those. Structure, also pretty well defined, and so on and so forth. But when it comes to style, it's just the unwritten code. And so that has the potential to derail and to